Well, all of that OmniROM repository is finally finished downloading, and now we're ready to actually build something. So again, a lot of people were wondering if it was harder to build OmniROM than other uh, other particular ROMs. It's actually going to build exactly the same. And so if we go back to our um, OmniROM Android on GitHub here, uh, let's get the right branch here of 8.1, which is what we're building. We scroll down and look at the getting started. We we initialize the repository, we synchronize the repository, and now we're going to build what we want to build. And so it has our um, instructions here. So we've already changed directory. We're into our Omni O directory and we see inside of our Omni O directory all of this stuff. If we hit that control H we can see that repo folder that's hidden. A couple things in here. Looks great. Um, we are ready to actually build. So what do we got to do? We put this dot and we say build environment setup and setup shell. So when we do this, this dot means source or to actually to essentially go read that file and do what it says. So when we type that in, it's going to this build folder right here and it's going to um, you run this read and run this environment setup dot shell which is setting up all of these tools and options for us and it's setting up all of our builds and it's searching for available directories and tools to use so now we're ready uh, to build and so if we just type the instructions here say brunch you know we uh, we used lunch in some versions we use brunch in some versions but if we type brunch here and notice that there's no uh, no combos to uh, to go through and so we could say we'll just do a full eng that's actually not what we want we're going to control c notice when we did this with lineage if you've uh, watched along with those videos they will be listed here so what's going to happen is we're going to brunch in our device name so that's really important to remember uh, that you have to choose the device name and it's actually going to help us because it's going to go and look for those tools but well rather than tools it's actually going to download the files needed to build it um, so when we brunch a device name we need to know what the device name is of our device in our case I'm going to be using the one plus one and maybe maybe you have a different phone and you're like well what is the name of that device so what you can do is you can type one plus one code name in our case and we see hey the code name for the one plus one is bacon so in theory what we can do is we can type brunch bacon now notice here that uh, device can't be found in the list and so it's going to go look to see if it can find it online um, you could also uh, um, you know try uh, you know like device uh, hammerhead something like that notice that this one it found and so it's going to actually go and get that device so that you can download it and build it so here it's fetching that project for the device LGE hammerhead but what I want to look at is we don't want to build for the hammerhead we want to build for the bacon so how do we uh, how do we do that and what we need to do is a little bit of research so that we know what files to download and then we need to go and um, add those to our room service manifest so we can actually get them so uh, I'm gonna let this finish downloading here real quick but we're not actually gonna build the hammerhead we're gonna build the bacon and we're gonna um, come back to how do we add that to the um, manifest okay so we wanted to build for the bacon and uh, we found that it didn't have it in its list of uh, <coughs> excuse me of available repositories when it looked online and that's because for some odd reason uh, it's called the find 7 op by omniram and uh, aka the one plus one 
I'm not sure why they, they changed that. For instance, if you look up the device bacon on Lineage OS, that is the OnePlus One. So I'm not really sure why there's a separation there. Um, in this case, then, what we could actually do is set up our build environment shell and then run um, brunch and, and say this find 7 op and that should excuse me that should uh, work out well for us but what I want to look at is what if what if what we were trying to build was out there but wasn't on the list of available devices to build how do we add that to our repositories and what we do is we go to our Omni O uh, repository we go to this hidden repo folder remember you have to hit control H if you can't see it and we're gonna go ahead and open that up and we see that we have a local manifest file if you don't have one you can actually just make the folder and build it um, we'll open it with gedit and notice that it says, hey, if I want to build the hammerhead, which is what we just said a minute ago, it's going to go and it's going to get these projects to build that. So you can actually just type this information in yourself. And this information would come from right here. Now, you don't need the github.com uh, part. You just need uh, the end here. So if you are building from, where's our list here? If you're building from remote of OmniROM, it already has this part. So you only need this part. And you put that in to say Android device, uh, in this case, OPPO Find 7 OP, and device, the path then is going to be device OPPO Find 7 OP. And, uh, and then you can actually just put that in there. The revision is going to be the branch that you want. Android 8.1, in our case, uh, is the latest branch of this. And then, uh, and then you can run repo sync to download everything that you just said in here you wanted, if that makes sense. So, uh, that would be how you would add a device to download that wasn't on the list to begin with. So I just wanted to take a moment to show you that. So we're going to add that and we're going to go ahead and download it. My internet's kind of slow, so uh, we'll just uh, see you on the, on the flip side of after we've downloaded that and we're getting ready to uh, build it.